So with the Flyers down by 5.9 points, we're really seeing if Charlie's able hey, to do floor boys, or not. Boys, scoot back. Scoot over. And okay, he's scoot over. not. Scoot over. Off the, floor. the big guy's back up. Remember, Daniel's in replacing uh, James. Did you just refer to yourself in third person? I did. I did. It was fun. Wow. On, okay, you can't talk for you right now. Only I can. All right, so that was a pretty good first pass right there. Yeah. And... Oh, that was some good combination work, Daniel. Um, he did a good job. And by he, I mean you. And you is him. Nice. Now, I'm not the most flexible person, which is why you see me fulfill my Elmer Group 1 with a twisting butterfly. There we go. About you again. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> that's pretty good. I mean, you're doing a good job. He's doing a good, jo good job. Um, on, sticking these landings, Three. controlling these landings, um, you know, getting through this routine. That is a skill that scares me every time. That's called on, a Marinich front handspring, front one and three quarters flip. It's a scary skill. And yeah. a stick on a dismount, double four. It's pretty good, especially coming in last minute. It's a good routine. Props to him. Props to you. Props to they. We'll see if the rest of the Flyers competition can pull it off, though. Again, we're hoping that Charlie can do his routine. All right, we got Matt Hicks up on high bar. This is a good event for Matt. Let's see if he can pull it through. Oh, right to the handstand. That was beautiful. Nice. Stretch to Kacha. Oh, that was Two nice. ganger. Mm -hmm. Wow. You got it. He is really good on that release. Nice. Those release elements. You know, he just looks like he's totally aggressive like that right now. Uh, he has some difficulty on the other events. He said, you know, I'm not coming off of this one. I'm going to hit it. Oh, wow. He did a, uh, an endo in an eagle position with his hands. Again, if you don't know some of these terms, eagle position, things like that, then you can always visit our gymnastics university. Um, and he did stick that lane on the website and get some explanation on that. Okay, so Charlie is too injured to do floor, so Cameron is stepping in last minute. We'll see. I, can he do a floor routine? Well, I don't know. He has his uh, waist. What is that? Waistband? Waist? I think it's. It might be a back a waist brace. Because I know his back's like been a, off. Like a waist bracelet. Is it a fashion thing? That's right. He can accessorize. <laughs> Well, again, he's keeping it very, very simple, just like High Bar, but he is sticking his landings, he's keeping it clean. And, you know, that that is what you're looking for. You know, he's not no. the best tumbler, so he has to do some of these other things to kind of get some, some bonus there. You can even hear the announcer, you know, he shot. It's not his strongest event, but again, props to Cameron. I mean... He's out of his element right now. Absolutely. And, and again, he's, his element is palm horse. You just saw him do palm horse. His other element is rings, and I think we're about to see some rings. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. he's like a fish out of water right now. And I mean way out, like in the desert. Like way out. A little confused right there. But, but again, he doesn't do floor. Long. I think he might Where have actually put this floor to routine go. together during as warm-up. Maybe right as he's now. going. But he's doing a pretty good routine, uh, nonetheless, considering considering um, he didn't train it ahead of time. But, but sadly, you, you see that this is the same story that we had last week, where they just were not prepared. This time, sadly, it's due to injury, but if they had three people to do floor, this may not have been an issue. That's true. Well, that was a good fight from Cameron. But I, I don't think that was enough to come back from being five points behind after last rotation. <laughs> All right, now we have Suntai up on high bar. Let's see how he's going to handle this. 
Matt just put up a great high bar score for the G-Force. See if he can follow up. I like seeing him in this event because he just goes big. He, I mean, he just doesn't even care. He's like, I'm just going to handle this real fast. Just like Matt, he's hitting all those handstands like they need to be doing. Stretch to catch it. Right nice. into it. Half twisting straddle to catch it. That, that was a great combination. Well, just like Matt, he just looks so comfortable when he's not holding on to that bar. Does great with the releases. And there he is with his hand spun backwards again in an eagle position doing an endo. Come on. Come on. All right, getting ready for the dismount. Let's see how he's going to handle this. Oh, oh. man. Dang, that is not good. However, I think they can afford the fall. I think so, too. I mean, Let's see how they did. enough. And, yes, we'll be seeing the G-Force in the finals with the 360s. Nice.